Yeah, the YouTube Our Place back once again for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventures. And we're back where we left off at the end of the last episode on this absolutely stunning paradise planet, which is, I think is classed as a tropical planet. Uh, there's some beautiful creatures here for sure. Look at this little zebra head. <laughs> We've still got one more creature to find here. And I feel like it's such a beautiful planet that I do want to look around for a little bit longer just to see if we can track him down among these lovely grassy plains. Uh, and I also want to go check out some more. Look at these. Oh, I love them. I love the little deer creatures. They're definitely my favorites. I say that about every creature I see, but what can I say? I love life. <laughs> Uh, right, give me this. Give me the treasure. I, w I would like to start my day with some treasure for sure. Thank you very much. Uh, give me this. Hello? What the heck? This one's broken. Excuse me, sir. Hello? Come and fix this box, please. I want a refund. Oh, why are there, oh, why is there a little gang of them, huh? Look at these little hoodlums. Intimidating people, huh? Don't worry, guys. Oh, man. Look at your face. Ugh. Okay, right. Come on, let's have a little... We're going to fly around, have a little zip around on the jetpack. Scan around if we can find it within the first five minutes. That's what I'm going to give myself. Uh, roughly five minutes. We'll see you know, We'll see how things go. If something nice happens or we find a particularly lovely spot, maybe we'll stay a little longer. Uh, but five minutes roughly, see if we can find this last creature. Um, it's a completely different day to when I was recording the last one. Uh, and sometimes I feel like, you know when you're trying to find that last creature... Just giving the game a break for a while and then coming back to it sometimes seems to help. I'm sure that's completely uh, uh, non-factual at all. <laughs> but it's like a feeling, you know? It's like a little tradition I have. If I'm really getting stuck and I want to find the last one, take a little break and then sometimes when you come back, boom, there it is. Ooh, Zink, I'll take that. Zinko, Zinko, what do you think? Oh, thank you very much. Huh. You're not new. You might be beautiful, but you're... Oh, what a, what a doll. What a lovely creature. Uh, hello? Come on, red dot, give it to me! Manufacturing facility, huh? Could be interesting, could be promising. I don't want to go and get that treasure down there. It doesn't feel like the way... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with the flow today. I feel like walking this way, so I'm gonna walk this way. That was cool. Oh! Pineapples! Oh, there's a question mark up there, huh? What is it? What does that look like? Looks like a floating mess, that's what it looks like. Uh, what have we got? Oh, wow. Look as night rolls in on these beautiful meadows. Oh, this looks freaking cool as hell. I've got to take a quick snap of this. This doesn't count towards my five five minute limit. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've just realized like you guys are going to see exactly how long I spend here because obviously it's an episode. <laughs> so you'll see as the minutes tick by and I'm here like five, five minutes past my five minute deadline. You're going to be like, get out of here. Come on. Come on, game. Give me some luck. Give me some luck. I've been incredibly lucky with this game. All I need now is to find a little red dot somewhere. And I'll be a happy bunny. To be honest, I can't complain. I mean, just walking around this place has been absolutely phenomenal. So, if we don't find the last one... Oh, oh we've got him. We've got it. Look at this tiny little tree. Look at this tiny little tree next to this huge one. That looks freaking hilarious. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh cute little shrubber. Oh, the trees here are lovely. I wish they were like dense forest. That would look so incredible. That is a lot of plutonium. What do we got down here? Any creatures hiding under a rock? Huh? Oh, that, it'd be cool if they had like little insect type creatures. Like really tiny ones. Like, uh, centipedes and frogs and stuff. You know, that'd be cool. I've been playing a bit of more fight and, uh, I found a little frog creature in that and it was, it was a really cool little moment. Uh, and it has kind of got me thinking, like, some of the creatures in there, obviously it's a very similar style of game to this, so, like, if you like this, you'll probably like that. Um, but there's some stuff in there, it's it completely different visually, of course, uh, but there's, like, some little creatures and little things that I found, and I've kind of thought, oh, this would look so good in No Man's Sky. Like, if No Man's Sky had this creature, it would look so much better, it would be so good. Uh, so that's kind of got my creative mind flowing into all the possibilities of things that could come to the game at some point. Go away. I know this is like none of this time that I'm spending now is counting towards my five minute limit. So, <laughs> so leave me alone. Red dot, come on. Give me the red dot. Where are you, little creature? Hmm. I don't think like it's weird. I never really used to try and find all of the creatures on planets. I used to just have a little wander around, check out the planet and then leave. Uh, but I feel like since the, since the 1.3 update, 
I don't know, like, I seem to just coincidentally find most of the creatures more often now. Like, I'll quite often, without even trying, find myself being, like, one or two creatures away from finding all of them. But I guess that's the trick, isn't it? Like, those last couple of creatures. Oh, I've got no slots. I'm just wasting all this. As I jibber-jabber away, I'm just, like, wasting all these resources that I could be gathering. Uh, that can go, because we've only got one of it, so that's a complete waste. Uh, we will trans- no, we will transfer you. You. Uh, not you. Is there an- oh, I thought I had more of those. Uh, let's transfer all of this. Uh, I guess we could craft a warp cell. That'll probably do it. Uh, 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 can I craft a warp cell? Please? Yeah, I can! Can I craft more than one? No, I can't. What a jip. What a jip! Let's put the warp cell in here. There you go, there. Talk about freeing up some space, huh? Technology. Oh man, this beautiful pink sky with these like trees there looks so good. I've got to smash that back to default. That smash it. That's a bit aggressive. I'm just gonna gently pop it back to default and get a little picture. <laughs> man, I love like. Oh, I, I don't know if it's just me. Like I, I love finding different types of trees in this game. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. I know that's a, such a weird thing, but I genuinely get really excited about two things: grassy planets of any kind of color are super exciting to me and trees like all the different kinds of trees you can get uh, I'm not too worried about grabbing that I just I'm just kind of walking around hoping we stumble across this creature oh there's a knowledge stone that I will grab I am not seeing any red dots hmm I always think maybe it's in the sky but I really don't think so I haven't there's not there's only like one type of sky creature I've seen here I think hey whoa hell's bells look at that mounted of plutonium over there I'll take that for sure. This really is a beautiful planet, right? Like, I am... I think this is why I'm sticking around. Like, I know normally I don't stay very long on a planet, but this one... Man, it... Like, there's something about it. I really do feel like I'm just walking through beautiful meadow, meadows somewhere on Earth. But with much cooler looking sky and creatures. Actually, you say, we've got some... Ah! Get you little nipper-jipper! We have got some pretty cool creatures in the real world, right? Especially some, like, deep ocean creatures. Ooh, get off my case. I don't want you around here, buddy boy. Wow, this is a huge plutonium. Is that overly large, or am I just, like, super excitable today? <laughs> I know someone's going to be like, you're always super excitable. Yeah. Well, I can't help it if I love my life. Get, get a wreck, fool. Get in pop, in pop. pop. Switch to the popper. Why am I not switching to my popper? There we go. Oh, gosh darn. There we go. Chip him. Chip him. Ha, 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 sucker. Give me this. Give me a little tin can. Thank you very much. Right, you. You, creature here, tell me. Tell me, where is this elusive final creature that I cannot... Don't run away from me. How, how very dare you. They're all in on this together. They're all... He, he's a stowaway. They're all helping him hide somewhere so that I can't track him down. Well, I think that's probably... That's probably about a good time to go somewhere else, isn't it? We, I mean, you can't say I didn't try. I, like... Man, I... <laughs> I never stay this long on a planet, but I have been looking around, having a great old time, trying to find this sneaky little Jipperoonie, but he's nowhere to be seen. I feel like maybe he's the elusive albatross, you know? He's the silverback gorilla. He's the one that got away. <laughs> Life is beautiful, man. Look at this guy. So we're about to touch down on what is described as an airless planet. Airless planet. That is super weird. I've never seen that description before. I can only assume it's going to be barren, uh, but airless is just a very intriguing description. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at these mountains. Oh, this is perfect because my new favorite thing to do in this fantastic game is the low flight space controls. Buddy boys. Wait, why am I not going fast? There we go. There we go. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Let's fly through the valleys. Oh, can we get through here? Huh? Oh, no, 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 I went over it. What a chip. Oh, man. Like, being able to do this is so much fun. Oh, look at that planet in the background. That looks absolutely stunning. That looks like it could be a good planet as well. It looks like an earthen type planet, right? It looks like lots of ocean and some grass, maybe? It's hard to tell from down here, of course, but it does look like a promising one. All right, let's go land up on this little, uh, this little mountain here. Get a nice little uh, aerial view of what we've got around. Not an aerial view, you know what I mean. A view from... Ooh! Relaxed. No flora. Non-existent flora. Flora? Flora? Flora. Fauna. 
<laughs> what the heck? Oh, it looks cool though. It's like one of those cracked, sun-baked desert planets. What is that? Huh, is that gold? That's pretty cool. Well, not much to say about this one, guys. We've hit a bit of a baronia. It looks kind of cool, though. I really like the like the new textures have made such a difference to the game. Like they really, really have changed everything. Like you never would land on a barren planet before and even want to look at it. It would always be like bleh. But this one looks pretty damn cool. What is that? Oh, it's one of those stupid little rocker jippers that I always think is a damn knowledge stone. Jipped again. Can you find stuff like knowledge stones on a barren planet? I don't even know. Huh. Well, on to the next one. Oh, actually, before we go. Before we go. That is actually a really nice picture. <laughs> what a place. Okay, so we're about to hit Bilibak Roshin. And this is a viridescent planet, which I think means it's going to be beautiful. That's all I know. I don't know what the word viridescent means. I think one of you guys has even told me what it means in the comments before. <laughs> but I can't remember. I just remember it being pretty the last time I saw one of these. So fingers crossed. I can already see oceans, which is always a good, good sign. Let's see what we got as we fly through the mist and the clouds. Ooh. Very purple, very... Oh, the water looks really inviting. What should be toxic now that I said that? Any animals, any animals. Come on, come on, come on. Lacking frequent fauna. Yes. Oh, that's weird. There's there's frequent um, fauna, but there's no plant life. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Hell's bells. Look what we have here. He's galloping through the water. He's going in the ocean. Look at them. They're not scared of the water at all. That's freaking insane! <laughs> oh wow! Okay, we've got some cool creatures. Okay, let me let me take a moment to compose my excitement. <laughs> what is this beast? Look at his head! Oh my gosh! He's doing a little dance to welcome us. Like he's like who who? And as soon as I said that, he stopped. What a jipper! I swear, sometimes the creatures in this game can hear me. This guy, this guy looks really cool. I love these like shorter stout type creatures, you know? Like the ones that look like chunky. Oh, I thought I saw a fish, but it's just a ripple. How cool does that shadowy ripple effect look? Has that always been there? That looks super nice. How do, like, how do I not notice these things? Like, maybe it is new, I don't know. They've been doing a lot of updates lately, so who knows. Hey, hello. Whoa, here's a little red one. Stay still, you little jabberoni. <laughs> I don't care what the game said he was, I'm calling him the Angler Mouse. Uh, what a... Oh, wow! Look at this guy! This guy looks freaking awesome! And we've got purple grass! I missed that until just now, but we actually have purple grassy spots here, which is incredible. Because, as you guys know, purple grass is my favourite type of grass in the game. Hey! Uh, go away. No, where, oh, wow, we've got birdies right above our head as well. <laughs> what a cool planet! This is going to be a great one. I'm very... Man, it's like a random weekday as well, and I never ever play this game except at the weekends. Oh, I never play any game, I don't have time normally. Uh, but today, for like the first time ever, I had a little bit of spare time in the week. And I thought, yeah, we'll hop on and play some No Man's Sky, because what else would I want to do in my free time, right? Uh, but, I'm glad I did. <laughs> look at this place! Alright, let's go get all of these little jib- Whoa, you look cool. This looks- Wow. This looks really cool. I'm coming for you. I'm going to feed it so, it so I can have a good look at it. That looks freaking awesome. Look at his head. Oh, no, I don't like his teeth, though. Oh, they look like human teeth instead of, like, sharp, pointy animal teeth. That's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, there he is with his little smiley face. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Hey, give me this. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is so cool that they're just, like, running around in the water and they don't care. Like, they're just frolicking, splashing around. Oh, yeah, I should scan the birdie, shouldn't I? Come here. I got him. I got him. Oh, are these? No, these are the same. Oh, what about these? Man, there are loads of creatures. It wasn't kidding when it said frequent. I have such good luck with finding stuff in this game. I really like this creature. You are my new favorite. Come here. Come here. How many favorites have I just picked already in this episode? <laughs> I am a fickle person, clearly. <laughs> what a guy. Look at him. He looks awesome. I like his little Mohican thing. What is this? Oh, I like the way that one walks. Give me this, thank you. Wait, oh, that was you. That wasn't even this one. Oh, I thought he was going to go and attack the little... Oh, that's a little version of him, isn't it? Oh, that is adorable. Look at him. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> he 
His tail looks like a paintbrush. Any of you, are you red? Any reds? There's got to be some more reds down here. Did I get all of them? I was so distracted, like overwhelmed by so many creatures at once. <laughs> oh wow! Oh wow, look at this thing! Oh, that is freaking awesome! I like those tail spikes. <laughs> there are so many creatures here! Oh, it's been eight, it's been a while since I found a planet like this teeming with a life, hasn't it? I think the last one I found this full of life was that awesome red grass planet that was absolutely stunning. Man, that guy, is he just like, is he just like the monster just like plodding through the ocean or is he on land still? No, no, he's on land. I thought he was just like wading. <gasps> Red dot, I saw him. Where'd he go? Ha! What the? Oh my god, what a bizarro. A little kangaroo chicken head. Ugh, I don't think I like him. Ooh. Yeah, these like anything with this kind of bulky squat type shape, you know, I really like them. They look really cool. Uh, are you... What are you? Are you like a green lioness? Oh, that is cool. That is the closest thing I've seen to looking like an actual lioness. That looks really cool. If I can actually put the light somewhere I can see it! Oh yeah, I like that a lot. That's awesome. Man, what a fight. <laughs> I'm killing it today! Oh man, I've, now I, like, I wish I had more time to play a load more episodes today because I feel like my luck you know those days where your luck is just on point? Well, actually, you're saying that. I'm normally pretty lucky whenever I play this game, but today I feel whoa. This is a how? Do, whoa, this is a pretty deep little pond. Oh, I wonder if there's any ocean creatures. But there has to be ocean creatures, right? This planet is mostly ocean. Are any of you red? Hello. Go on in the water. In the water you go. Go on. Go on. Get in there. Go on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. I'm gonna blow up the ground around you. So, you oh no, I killed. You. No. I'm so sorry, I did not mean to do it. Oh no, now they're all attacking me. I need to run. I don't want to kill all these animals. They're too pretty. Too pretty. That is a lot of formium. I should probably grab that before someone in the comments has a heart attack. Uh, da, da, da. You. Did I? Yeah, I scanned all these. Give me that lovely, precious thormium. My precious. <laughs> they look like strawberries, don't they? Strawberries are delicious. Strawberries are my favourite flavour of, like, anything. <laughs> well, you know, like, whenever you have ice cream or sauce or sweets, anything of that sweet variety, I always go for the, like, or dessert. Like, dessert type foods, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Strawberry is my favourite. Wow, these cliffs look freaking cool. Oh, that's nice, that purpley glow. Man, yeah, these these like cliffs and valleys do look really cool, don't they? Right, I need to get into the ocean. We've got to find out. We have to know if there are any ocean giants around. Hey, uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, are you are you red? No, you're not red. Phew. I don't know why I said phew. <laughs> I want you to be red. I want to discover all our creatures. Well, let's go. Oh, that was my high jump attempt. Uh, have we've got to have some creatures in the ocean, surely? <laughs> oh, that would be like so good if I just found an ocean giant now, like a big old shark type creature. Is there life? Oh man, it's so difficult getting to the ocean creatures, isn't it? Hey, there's some! Oh, what the freak? I have never seen these! They look like those plants that kill me all the time! What the heck? I have never seen a creature anything like this! What is this? What the heck? Look at that! I've never seen something like that before! What is that, like a, a sea worm? I don't even know, that is grotesque! They look like swimming asparagus! <laughs> I've never seen those before! Like, I've never seen anything like even close to that sort of creature before. Oh, are they... Is that... Has anybody else seen this type of creature before? The reason that is super important is because I feel like I've seen at least like similarities between almost all of the creatures I see nowadays. If I'm seeing something completely new like this, I get really excited that maybe they're adding new types of creature variations into the game. But I have not seen one of these guys before. That is freaking awesome! Oh, what a day! We found a new ocean creature that I've never even heard of or seen. I haven't even seen a picture of those. Oh, I'm really... I think they've, they've got to be new, right? Please tell me they're new. Please tell me they're like sneakily adding in more 
more creature models in the background. Oh, they are. Oh, they look. They do look like worms, don't they? Oh no, there's, they're everywhere. <laughs> oh, I want. I wonder if there's any more ocean creatures. Oh, that's a good sign. That is a good sign. We've just found a creature I've never seen anything like before, and there's loads of them. They look like widgety grubs. Is that what those things are called? Widgety grubs? Man, this terrain under here looks incredible. Look at this. What the? Spike. Spike territory, huh? Ooh, man, that's pretty. Where are those little jibbers? Jibbers. Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know how I feel about those. They, they are pretty cool, but pretty gross at the same time. <laughs> Uh, right, let's get up nice and high and see if we can have a little scan of the seas. Feel like I'm... Oh! oh that, is that going to be the same one? Let's have a look. Let's see how many creatures we've discovered here. We've got... Hey! 10 out of 13. Oh, 13 a lot. 13 is a lot of creatures. Uh, I am also remembering to do the waypoints and the plants now whenever I upload my scanning things. Because you guys keep telling me that I forget all the time. And I do. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? Uh, I have a memory like... I've got a brain like a sieve. That's what I was trying to see. I couldn't even remember the saying. That's how bad my memory is. Where is... Okay, there's one over there. I feel like we take a big old run and jump. Oh. Oh, I thought that was a creature running along the wall. Okay, right. We've still got a couple of creatures to discover, so let's go for this. Splanoosh! Hello? Did I get far enough to discover a creature that I... Hey! Get out of here, worm face! There's got to be more, right? There has to be more ocean creatures. I believe it! I believe that out there in the depths, Nessie lurks. They've got... Oh, they've got to add some, like, super giant ocean creatures one day. Like a, an actual whale-sized whale would be pretty cool. Hey! Get me out of here before I drown. I don't want to drown. That would be a terrible way to end what has been an absolutely beautiful episode of adventuring. <laughs> Man. So we've still got like another four creatures to discover here or something. Which is pretty cool because most of the stuff we've seen so far looks good. And I didn't even get a proper chance to look at all the stuff on land. I need to go back and have another look. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. What a day. Like... <laughs> I am so glad that I just decided to hop on for a little bit and recorded a quick episode. Because... That has been like two, like we started off on that beautiful paradise planet that I found in the last one, which was just good on its own. And then we've gone and found this awesome place, which I'm very excited about. Um, I think in the next one, we're going to explore a little bit more. I'm hoping there might be some more ocean creatures. Uh, if not, we'll have another look on land as well to see if we can find a couple more. Because we've still got four left, so we'll easily find at least one or two of those without too much trouble. Uh, and this is a pretty nice place, so it's, it's worth sticking around. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, as always, if you've enjoyed that, please do drop a like and a comment. That stuff helps like crazy, and I appreciate it. Uh, and I will catch you in the next one for some more No Man's Sky and our truly beautiful space adventures. Take care, guys, and peace.